with the really cool introduction. Uh, so good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Marilu Valente. And I'm actually very excited to be here today in this event that really mixes different professionals and really makes them interact. Um, and I'm actually very happy to, hear, to see that design has such a main importance as a topic in this event, uh, especially because I'm a designer. And so as uh, Bob mentioned, um, what inspires me uh, in design is to find innovative approaches to big environmental challenges. And a couple of years ago, I shifted my career from an architecture uh, career into to follow my passion in sustainable design. So since then, I've designed uh, many products and I've co-founded a startup uh, which tries to close the loops of electronic waste. And so I'm here today to uh, present to you one of my designs. It's the design of an item so simple that nearly gets unnoticed. Uh, I would actually call it an unnoticed item of consumption. This item uh, that I will be talking about, um, we, know we use it nearly every day, and we have been using it every day for almost a century. Uh, I guess you all know what, what I'm talking about from the title of my talk. Um, so yes, I've tried to give a fresh, eco, new look to uh, the old shampoo bottle. So um, opening a bottle's cup, squeezing the content out of the bottle seem very natural actions. A gesture so deeply ingrained in our everyday routine that it even gets hard to find a reason to change it. Well, I give you a reason why. Usual shampoo bottles are made with two components, uh, the body and the cup. These two components are made with different materials and different manufacturing techniques. So the challenge I set myself was to design a bottle made with only one material. So that meant that the cup and the body needed to be somehow connected. So while doing some research, I stumbled across uh, this Nepenthes uh, plant. And in the same way as this carnivorous plant, I connected the body or the hollowed cavity of a container into a thin flexible element, which would have the functionality of a cup. So um, that's the design. Uh, so the, the, the packaging functions without a cup, but with a flexible element, but by bending this flexible e element into a side hole uh, where the content comes out. So the fact that it's made with only one component makes its recycling more efficient. And from a manufacturing point of view, you would only need to, to source one type of material because you would only need one manufacturing technique. So this one is a 3D printed prototype, um, but, um, but actually it would, uh, the industrial production would integrate a current uh, molding a manufacturing technique. So this design represents a subtle and beautiful disruption of our habits. Um, I tried to, to actually use design as a way to rethink disposability. And I really believe that design can make, can make a really big difference in the circular economy as it sends at the initial stage of a product's life, life cycle. And for me as a designer, I can only start design when responding to a bigger challenge. So from there, I extract the parameters which help me define what the product would be and what it should look like. So the overconsumption of plastic pa packaging was the main challenge that inspired me to design this bottle. And this is just a first step towards a bigger vision. So instead of using packaging once, we should be refilling and reusing it more often. And in the same way, I see this shampoo bottle 
as a, as a refillable container that you would bring to your shop and fill it with the content of your choice. And this is already happening uh, in a few places, actually, in, uh, in America. It's mainly in the US. Um, and so now I'm looking, actually, for manufacturing partner. So if you are interested in producing this packaging, please come and talk to me. Um, or if you also have some good contacts. So uh, that ends my talk. I thank you for your attention. And I guess from now on, you will not look at shampoo bottles in the same way. Surely someone's got a, pack, a, a production solution for Mary Lou. Jim? <laughs> I'm sure you do, somewhere. I didn't understand the question, though. Can you No, she's looking for a manufacturing partner to make these. Well, I was uh, going to bring someone here, but uh, last minute he, uh, he wasn't able to make it. And he's the senior uh, packaging design engineer for Procter & Gamble. And I would be glad to put you in contact uh, with him. Uh, he's in the R&D center in, uh, in Brussels. And uh, if you give me uh, your card, I will send him an email and put you in copy. And I think he will be excited because he's a, a blow molding packaging engineer. And uh, he, uh, he doesn't like separate uh, caps, so uh, he'll be glad. That's there great. you go. Yes. A plasticity marriage. <laughs> Anyone else? Question? That's off. That's great stuff, Mary Lou. We can uh, touch it and feel it downstairs, yes, right? At coffee. Course. Yes, totally. Okay, thank you. We'll do it a ten minute.